now we're moving over to the phone lines because it's Friday. It's 726, and it's time to talk to our good friend of the Park District, Laura Gibbs-Green. Laura, good morning. How you doing? Hey, good morning. How are you? We're doing good. Like you, like I told you off air, you have to deal with me today. Riles, Riles is out. <laughs> and and to deal with me. So I got I got two things for you before we before we get into it. One, uh, okay. I, I, I want to call out and, uh, and, and put some shine on one of your employees. Uh, that would be uh, Karen. I'm not really sure what her last name is. I haven't picked that up yet. Uh, but your organizer for, for Buddy Baseball out there uh, at the Boys oh, and Girls yes, Club. Karen Kellogg. Yes. Karen, Karen Kellogg. Uh, yeah, our, uh, our mutual friend, uh, Double T, uh, got me hooked up with that. And, and he and I go out there, and, and, and we do kind of play by play for for the Buddy Baseball. And she is she is wonderful. She's she's fun. She's happy. Uh, she has a good good control of everything out there. She she's one of your one of your good ones out there. So uh, give her give her a thumbs up when you see her. Uh, I, I, and I like her a lot. She's very nice. <laughs> well, you just hit on one of the greatest programs out there, Buddy Baseball. Our Buddy programs have just expanded over the years. We've got a whole buddy sports kind of section now because of just that one program and that unique connection that's made out there on the field and the interactions that go on and the parent support we've received for that program and and people like you and, and, and yourselves going out there and volunteering and did she ask you to sing the national anthem yet? Because that's coming she, up next. No, she, she, she has not yet. She uh, she does bring in some guests to do the national anthem, but uh, <laughs> I think I think she knows my limitations there. And then and then two and then two. I have I have homework for you. I have homework for you okay. because okay. I, have, I have a question. I, I I made my way out to Nicholas Conservatory uh, the other day to check out uh, uh, Grimace. Uh, unfor- Yay. Unfortunately, I was there uh, about five hours too early. I didn't get to see it open. Uh, but but while I was walking around, uh, in full disclosure, it was my first time at Nicholas Conservatory. I, I'm a bad rock forty, and I had not visited it yet. Uh, but I fascinated by the koi pond. Uh, that was wonderful. Uh, but I noticed, like in the at the end of the koi pond, it goes it goes up, and there's like another little tributary, little little waterfall. But it seems like sequestered uh, uh, from the other. 40, 50 goldfish uh, are, are, are three just sitting up there all by themselves. I felt bad for them. <laughs> Do you know why we've, 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 we've singled these three fish out to make them s- swim by themselves? You know, I don't. I am going to have okay. to do some research. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now, th- th- maybe they have connections somewhere else I couldn't see, but I, I, I just feel bad for the guys. So. Or there may be an area, and I think I think it is possibly all connected, and maybe that's just kind of where they choose to hang out gotcha. versus... Hanging with everybody else. Okay, so we're, we're not. We're not. Maybe it's more of like a slow and steady kind of thing for them, where they don't need all the ha- the the big hustle and pu- bustle. Like you, when you first walk in, all the hustle and bustle yes. right there. Mm-hmm. And you've got koi fish in, in the pond there that are just chomping to to be fed because they think that's what's going to happen. We do feed them at certain select times throughout the day. If they're getting fed, don't worry. Gotcha. So maybe there's a little bit to that too. Maybe, maybe. So they might be shy. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're just, yeah, they're just quite, quite fish. So, all right, I've taken a bunch of your time here. We have a minute <laughs> left of our segment. What, what do you got to tell us to do? Yeah, well, real quick, Grimace is, it looks like I just checked the camera. Grimace is now in full bloom. So you've got pretty much today we're open from 10 to 10. Uh, tickets available. Pre-purchase them online if you can. It's the best way to get a spot. Uh, this only happens every couple of years. So uh, make sure you have that full full experience and just enjoy the Nicholas Conservatory and Gardens because we've got the carnivorous plant display going on. It was awesome. Uh, look for us tonight at City Market. We will be out there shining a light on the Olympics. So we're going to do our own version, hand out some medals ourselves. We've got a lot of the games, a lot of the sports play in the Olympics we play here at the Park District. So we're going to feature basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and a bunch of other things that we're going to be doing there tonight. So come on out and see us at the City Market. And at 6 o'clock, we're going to have a little appearance by the Little Peaches, which is also Ooh. a softball team in the area All right. by the IWBC. That'll do it for us. They wanted more. Their website is? RockerParkDistrict.org. Thank you, Laura.